Hi, everybody. Uh, it's Kim Bergen Jackson, administrator at Oak Knoll, and I'm recording on Thursday morning, and it will be uploaded today, so August 10th already. I can't believe it. Um, I wanted to follow up on Steve's video from last week. If you saw his video last week, he, we were just asking, um, should we keep doing the videos? Are, do you find them to be helpful? Are you watching them? Um, are we just talking to ourselves was essentially the question. And we had an overwhelming response from many, many of you. Thank you so much uh, for either emailing Steve or calling and leaving him a message. And I would say two thirds of the responses uh, were very positive and you'd like us to continue the videos. And so the videos shall go on. Um, I don't think though that we'll continue to go over the events. You, uh, many of the people who replied mentioned that that was not necessary because of the memo and the acorn. And um, so uh, message received, I'll not be going over events today. I'll just talk about COVID. And in the weeks that we don't have any COVID to talk about, the videos will be much shorter. So thank you again for, for your responses. Steve was very kind and printed all of the emails so that I could read them all. And um, so I appreciate that you're watching the videos and that you find them to be helpful. I also feel like there's a little bit of a connection, even though I can't see you on the other side of the camera. I feel uh, like I, 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 I'm talking to the whole community and I like that. So. Um, the COVID update for this week is that we have two new staff who are COVID positive this week. They are both mildly symptomatic with cold symptoms. One is at the East Campus and one is at the main campus. Uh, they um, did work before they developed symptoms and once they developed symptoms, they immediately tested, which is what we ask people to do. Uh, and so they are both uh, home recovering for five days and if their symptoms improve or disappear they can come back and wear a mask for five days after that. Uh, if you received a message yesterday or the day before that you were potentially exposed to COVID I just need you to symptom monitor. You don't really have to restrict your um, activities at all uh, because you could really be exposed every day. We just know about these two exposures but COVID is still active in the community. We know that. Um, we are highly vaccinated here in our Oak Knoll bubble, and so hopefully people won't get very ill. If you were exposed uh, by one of those staff members, uh, then that a, a close contact exposure would be within six feet, if you remember, for um, 15 minutes or more. Uh, just keep an eye on yourself and if you develop cold symptoms or what you think might be allergies or you have a fever of unknown origin, you can always ask to test. Uh, we do have ample testing supplies available uh, and I think you can still get them from the State Hygienic Lab if you want to keep your own supply. Um, I think that's it. So you, you are not required to quarantine if you're just exposed. You're only required to quarantine if you are positive. And so just keep that in mind. It's like we're living with it now. And um, you could go to the store and be exposed and not know about it and, and not ever have any symptoms or develop COVID. So um, I don't want you to be worried about that. Uh, we've had many, many more staff than two positive in the past and residents as well. So we do have some residents who recently came off the positive list. So as far as I know today, I don't have any active cases of COVID among the residents. We, uh, as I said, just had a couple people recover. Um, no one's been hospitalized, which is great. And nobody has received the, um, the antiviral medication in so many months, I can't remember. So that's great news. So that's the COVID update for the week. We, we are planning to have an influenza clinic. I don't have the date uh, locked down yet, but we will have a, a flu vaccine clinic in the fall. And I suspect we will be offering COVID vaccines at that time too. Uh, none of that has been decided yet, but there are rumors that, that they're trying to get it to a one vaccine um, per year and give it at the same time as the influenza vaccine, which would be really efficient. We will have a giant vaccine clinic um, and get everybody vaccinated at the same time. Uh, so those are my updates for today. Uh, I wanted to remind you that um, Cam and Retha and Lindsay Reed are offering a Dementia Friends session um, Monday 
uh, in the evening. I believe it's at 6 p.m. You can look in the memo to get details, but if you're interested in learning more about dementia and um, just sort of this a uh, global initiative to decrease stigma for dementia and increase knowledge base and just uh, talk about being kind, which you all are. Um, please sign up to attend that session. It'll be a good one um, on Monday the 14th at 6 p.m. at the main campus. Um, as always, please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or uh, concerns. I'm always here and I'll talk to you in two weeks. Thanks. Have a great day.